in Gauss's law we saw um, a concept, a new concept, which is that area is a vector. So we want to discuss this in, in detail and see what it means. So let's imagine we take a mathematical surface. This is an example of a mathematical surface. For, it's important to note that this surface has no physical existence. There's no charge on the surface. It's not made of any material. It's a purely fictional surface that we create in our minds to solve a particular problem or to describe a particular problem. So imagine you cut up this area into small elements of area like these small squares or whatever elements of area. Now uh, the area vector for each element of area is defined to be at for instance the area vector at this point at the center of this element of area is defined to be such that the direction of this area vector is perpendicular to the surface at that location. So if you go to the center here and you make a perpendicular to the surface, then you draw the area vector perpendicular at that location. The magnitude of the area vector is just the regular magnitude of the area that we know about, this distance times this distance. If this is a small rectangle, then you just multiply this distance times this distance, it gives you the area, and that's the magnitude of this vector. Of course, th this means that the direction of the area vector can be different at different locations on the surface. Here, the normal vector is this way, but here, the normal vector is this way. So, the area vector at different locations on a surface could have a different direction. Now, we also want to define what a closed surface is. A closed surface, by definition, it splits space into two parts, something inside and something outside. Outside the if you want to go from outside the surface to inside the surface or vice versa, you have to hit the surface at some point. You have to go through the surface. So that means that a closed surface cannot have any openings at all. It has to be completely sealed from all every single side. If you take that closed surface and you cut it up into small elements of area, you can then now define the area vector for each element of area. And by definition, the area vector for a closed surface has to point from inside to outside. For instance, I could have drawn the area vector here to point in this direction. But no, for a closed surface, it has to be defined from inside to outside. Now, why is this the case? Because when we come to describe Gauss's law, you have to define the area vector to point from inside to outside because Gauss's law deals with closed surfaces. If you don't take this sign convention into consideration, uh, you you might get a minus sign in the problem incorrectly. So you, this is the just to use Gauss's law correctly. We have to define the area vector to be this way. Th these are some uh, the rest of the area vectors. What they might look like. You see that they always point from inside to outside, and they are always perpendicular to the surface at the particular location. So here, the vector is perpendicular to the surface at this location. Here, the vector is perpendicular to the surface at this location, and they don't have to point in the same direction. At different elements of area. For an open surface, on open surface there's no concept of inside and outside. I can go from here to here without touching the surface. So there's no place in space where I can call inside or a place in space where I can call outside. outside. So there is a confusion. If I go to an element of area like this, I don't know, should I, should I make the area vector perpendicular this direction or should I make it this direction? There's a confusion. You have to specify yourself, you have to make this choice yourself for an open surface. There's no uh, standard way of doing it. So for a closed surface, it's, it's fixed. There's a fixed definition. You have to be from inside to outside. For an open surface, there is an ambiguity. And that's fine. When we solve problems, we can see how to deal with this when we solve problems.